Hey guys, today I'm doing a video on my everyday makeup routine. Just real simple, easy steps that I do every day uh, being a mother so that I can just get my face on and go to the grocery store or run the errands, whatever I have to do. This is just something really easy and simple for everyone. So I hope that you keep on watching and give it a thumbs up guys and subscribe to my channel. And this is how I did it. All right, so to get started, I'm gonna have a sponge. And I do dampen mine, um, just so that it kinda helps blend it on better. So, the foundation I'm gonna be using is Urban Decay Naked Skin, and it's in the shade 0.5. And you can use a brush to put it on your face, or I just squirt it on my finger, and then kinda just make full lines here and there and I don't know why I do this but I work on one side of my face and then the other <laughs> not sure what and then I just go through and kind of blend it in and I love this foundation because it really doesn't even feel like you're wearing any and it's not like like a full coverage like you would have for like you're wearing like pancake makeup but it's really light and airy and I like that because I don't like to feel like I'm wearing a whole lot of makeup um, I'm not big on having tons of product on my face also I love um, I love this product because it does not have any parabens and things like that in it. So it's a little better product that you're putting on your skin. And I'm real big about what I put on my skin because all that is getting absorbed into your body. And think about if you put so many chemicals on your body, you use your body lotion, face lotion, all these different things that have all these different chemicals that aren't natural and not supposed to be on your skin. That's just me. I like a little more natural things. Now sometimes I don't use it all the time, but I try and be picky about things that I'm using every day on my skin, like my foundation or my face lotions. Um, so I do try and go the more natural route with that. All right, so after I have just blended that on with the sponge, I'm going to get my concealer and I'm using the Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer. I just really like Urban Decay stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and, now I don't get crazy with it, like the contouring and highlighting and things like that. I do like a little bit, but I don't get into it real heavy. Um, that's just me and for an everyday look, I'm not going to be putting on that much makeup. If you're going to a wedding or event or something like that or doing a photo shoot, sure, yeah, you layer that on so it looks good. So I just kinda, no rhyme and reason here. And then my zits. And sometimes I'll put a little bit on my nose and the chin. And then I'll just kind of blot that. And again, this is just a simple everyday makeup. This is not anything like getting super fancy with your contouring and highlighting and this is just real quick getting in to put on my makeup while my son plays with my phone so I can put my makeup on. That's what he's doing right now. <laughs> he's watching trucks and cars. And my dog's barking at who knows what. She barks at everything. So I just blend that in. Now some people don't um, put it on their eyelids. I like it because it kind of helps to let my eyeshadow stick. And then, so I've just blended that in. And whenever I'm done, I'm going to set it with powder. You can use a translucent powder or you can use just your regular powder, just lightly put it on. You don't want any more caked up on your face. 
so after that I'm going to get just a little powder brush blush brush whatever you want to call it and I'm going to be using the Too Faced uh, chocolate it's a medium to deep bronzer and this is kind of my contouring I'm going to do it in like the placement that you would use for if you use like a liquid um, one to do your so I just lightly do it and I start up here and you do it kind of like where the Sun would hit you naturally so the top of your forehead of course and then I really like the way it kind of just makes your face look really not thin but it kind of it does thin it out but I love doing it right here by your temples and stuff it just makes your face look I don't know the word for it I just like it and then I'm gonna do it under here and like if you're contouring you would do like a line here and here but and I my foundation is a little lighter than my actual skin tone so I like to do a little more of the bronzer cuz I don't like to be super pale and then I'll do a little my face is white so just kind of and I just barely dab my brush in here and just add a little now I'm going to do under my jawline I do a little bit more right here just so kind of helps make your jawline look a little more predominant and then I'm going to just work it down on my neck in real good make sure you get by your ear all right so after I do that I'm going to use a powder brush again I just use the same one because it's not that much darker and I just kind of dust it off or I'll use a towel and kind of wipe it off and I'm just going to use a little blush and the one that I'm using is just on this old palette it's like a Victoria's Secret one a light pink it's very light so you can use whatever blush that you like and then I just do real small pieces at a time and I'm just kind of staying on the cheekbone and just working in here and it's so light that I'm not worry about having this like streak of blush so I just kind of blend it in all right so got that on and then I am going to do my eyebrows and then I'm going to set it because I like to set my eyebrows as well so I'm going to be using my Anastasia brow Wiz pencil and this is in taupe and one side's got the pencil, one side has the wand. So what I'm gonna do, I'll use this mirror so I don't have to get away so y'all can see. And I'm gonna brush all these hairs down. And I have a tutorial already on eyebrows so you can see if you want a little more detail on what I'm doing. And then I'm just going to go in and line these. And I'm just doing this kind of quick the longer version you can go and watch my tutorial because this is just my quick everyday makeup so I don't look like a zombie all right and then I'm going to brush these hairs up and be careful not to get the line that you just penciled in as well figured I'd do my everyday makeup routine. I haven't done one yet on my full face of makeup or anything like that. So I just figured I'd give you a little insight to what I do when I do do my makeup. 
And then I'm going to brush all these hairs in the direction that they should be going. And then I'm going to go in with my pencil and just kind of fill in those areas. And then I'm going to use the Dip Brow, which is also by Anastasia or Anastasia. I don't know how you say it. And then up here, I'm going to just make hairlines like I actually have some hairs there. And then don't worry if it doesn't look perfect. I don't know what that happened just now. But we'll go in and kind of sculpt it out and form it so it looks really good. And you need to be very light-handed when you do this so that you're not making any hard lines. This is my, my bad eyebrow. This is good eyebrow, bad eyebrow. There's, I don't know why I don't have a lot of hairs right here. So I have to really create those. I'm just kind of fill in empty spots where there's no hair. All right, so once I got that done, I'm going to get my dip brow and it is also in the taupe. I'm in love with this line. I want everything that this line offers. And then now I'm getting an angled brush and you barely dap it in here. You just lightly tap it in there. And then very light handedly go in the direction of your hairs. Once you do this every day, it won't take as long as the video that I'm doing. It takes a little longer when I'm showing you all what I'm doing. And then up here, I'm going to go with the hairs. Alright. So can see that I've barely used any product and if you get a little more on your brush than you want it just kind of work it in the rest of your eyebrow again with my goofy eyebrow there's not really a lot of hairs down here either Lightly in the front of my brow. All right, so we've got that done. I'm gonna put this up, and then I'm going to brush through it with the little spoolie on the end, just to get all those hairs where I want them. And if you have any extra product that you don't want, it kind of helps buff it out. All right. And then I just like to, right here, kind of run my fingers through it so it doesn't look drawn on. And then the next step, if you want them to be a little more sculpted, you can get a little concealer brush and take your concealer either just put some on your hand on the back of your hand or just take some out of the bottle like I do and then go under and then just sculpt it out you can hear Landon in the background his truck video is probably done so he'll probably be in here in a second to make me fix it and then you can kind of see that just helps it make it stand out a lot more now you don't have to do the top of your brow. You can if you want it more dramatic. Um, for my everyday, unless I'm having a more dramatic eye, I won't really mess with the top too much. So on this side, go in here and line that. And there we 
go. So that's it for the brows. Now I'm going to get another powder brush and I'm gonna today just use my powder. I use Glow Minerals. I really like them. Um, it's a mineral makeup that they've ground. It's kind of like a Bare Minerals, but it's compact and they grind it so much more that it doesn't get in fine lines and things like that if you're getting older like me I'm almost 30 <laughs> so I'm just barely lightly dabbing it in there and then kind of just brushing it on I do really like the translucent powder as well for under my eyes I feel like it just brightens it up simple and now for my eyes um, this is what I've been doing lately so I'm just gonna show you what I've been using lately oh there's Landon all right so we're gonna finish with Landon because to be real this is what I do every day he sits on my lap when I get ready to put on makeup so this is kind of a little behind the scenes in the life of Courtney and Landon all right so back on track where I was at. I'm gonna be using, um, the eyeshadow I've been using lately is Arbonne, and the color is Smoke. And I really, I love Arbonne stuff. I used to sell it, so I'm a little biased on it. So, and I just used a simple, I'm not fancy with the other brush, cause I, I like it to get on my eyelid real good. So I'm just using a normal eyeshadow applicator. And for this, I just work it on all of my lid. Because this is just simple. There's not going to be a lot of steps to this because this is just what I have to do to get ready with Landon on my lap. And I'm working it in my crease and just a little bit up. And then I'll show you in a second once I get this on my lid. And then I get a crease brush and I just dab it in there and just kind of softly work it in there just so it's real subtle. Right. So I have that and then I'm going to be using this brand. I think it's Inglot. I'm not really 100% sure how you say it. But they have amazing colors. And then I'm going to get a just angled defining eyeshadow brush. And I'm using this color here. I honestly don't know the name of it. I'm sorry. I'd have to pull it out of the magnet <laughs> and look. So it's just a shimmery gold tan color. And I like to start up at my brow and kind of work it down. And I just do it real light because I don't want anything real heavy. And all you mothers know this is how you get ready, right? <laughs> the stay at home mommies. And I'm just kind of working it in, in the corner. And then I'm also going to put some right here in the corner of my eye. I've been really liking this look lately because it's easy. There's not a lot of steps. That's two colors. That's it. So you're not getting like a whole palette out working out of like seven colors. All right. So once I have that, I'm also going to be using another little angled brush. And I'm going to be using a brown, it's called coffee. It's just a brown eyeshadow, actually, a mineral eyeshadow. And I'm going to use that as my liner instead of using a pencil or a liquid eyeliner, which I like all of those. This just seems to be <laughs> staying on there uh, really good. And because I do have a lot of laugh lines and things like that, because I'm very animated, I don't know if you've noticed or not. Uh, I do get these fine lines in here, and so this kind of just seems to look better and lay better. So I just go in here and under my lash line, and I just barely work it in. 
Now, if you are more comfortable with using your pencil or liquid, use that. I just recently started using this color for my liner and I really like it. And I don't go all the way in yet because um, I will use that color that I did around here and just kind of bring it over a little bit. And now I'm going to do the top. And I just kind of work it on there. I mean, that video is loud. Turn that down. Right. <laughs> I have to hold him still, too, make sure he doesn't bump me whenever I'm doing this. Alright. So, and that. I really like it on top of that brown eyeshadow because it just gives my eyes more depth. I really like it. Alright. And then once we put on our mascara, it will look so much better. Alright, so I'm going to get that eyeshadow again and kind of work it in there. I still have some left on my brush so. And I like to go under the brown as well. Okay. And then today, I'm just going to be using a drugstore brand mascara. It's the Falsies by Maybelline. I do like this stuff a lot. And then I'm just going to put this on so... See how that brown eyeshadow and the brown liner just kind of gives that real smoky eye. I love it. it just it, I feel like it makes my eyes pop. Now, I've been putting mascara on for a really, 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 really long time, so it doesn't take me <laughs> too long and I put it on pretty quick. Also, I will give you a little tip. Whenever you have like a regular mascara like this, whenever you want to get more, don't pump it. That makes your makes it clumpy. So you roll it on the inside to get more product instead of pumping it. And I like to do a few coats. And then I'll do the other eye. And then I'll usually go back to the other one after it's dried a little. should just start doing videos with Landon on my lap. He seems to always be in here towards the end of them. So I should just start doing it with him on my lap. Alright. So that is it for the eyes. And then this is really all I do. I usually will wear a gloss or a little bit of chapstick. Um, today, I'm just going to be using this dark cherry and I'm gonna lightly dab it. Cause I don't want it to be as dark. I'm not doing anything fancy. Just to give myself a little bit of color.
It's just so it looks like my natural lip color. Really hope that you enjoyed this video to kind of give you some easy everyday makeup ideas and little helpful hints and tips. So Landon says thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys again really soon.